Assalamu alaikum dear students how are you all i hope that you all are fine and taking good care of yourself students today is our lesson number 12 topic grammar skills unit number 11 dear students today's content unit number 11 different kinds of verbs dear students material required for this lesson as mentioned below lead pencil eraser highlighter grammar skills book notebook blue marker blue pen and ruler objectives of this lesson number 1 understanding of different kinds of verbs number 2 explanation and use of action saying and stative verbs number 3 to differentiate between different kinds of verbs dear students open your grammar skills book page number 48 dear students first of all you have to write day date today's task different kinds of verbs number 1 action verbs number 2 saying verbs number 3 stative verbs number 1 action verbs Action verbs tell you about physical actions for example fall work bark these all are action verbs jo cheez hum act kar rahe hote hain saying verbs dear students saying verbs indicate speaking they can provide more information as to how things are being said for example kisi ko order karna command karna apna anger show karna these all are saying verbs saying verbs tell you how characters speak for example stop right there commanded the policeman number 3 stative verbs stative verbs tell about a state or condition they show the relationship between things or show how a person feels about or sees things that is they indicate beliefs and opinions examples of stative verbs are seem appear consider enjoy dislike wonder these all are stative verbs dear students the text below is taken from a narrative which uses many action verbs choose the correct verb from the brackets to fill in each blank so student you have to pick one suitable action verb to complete the sentence so let's start the children dash raced cried excitedly down to see the waves the children raced you have to write raced excitedly down to see the waves that dash chuckled crashed that crashed onto the stony for sure it was a perfect day for the start of the holidays small crabs dash skated danced about on the rocks as the swelling form so you have to write over here number 3 skated dash edit swayed and seagulls dash number 4 edit and seagulls dash fluttered swept and dash so swept and dash dived searched hoping for an easy meal Number 6 dived hoping for an easy meal dear students i also mention key answers for more understanding how will look on key answers when the children reached the water's edge of the water they dash cried hesitated for a while they hesitated for a while they dash stopped watched they watched as the water dash swallowed sucked as the water sucked and dash turned swelled so swelled again and again depositing and dragging shells backwards and forwards with every movement they tentatively dash ran waded into the blue sea they ran into the blue sea a chilly wind dash arose came a chilly wind arose but the sun dash blasted beamed at the children warming their pale skin and turning it golden number 13 beamed at the children 
warming their pale skin and turning it golden. So, dear students, here are also mentioned key answers. For more understanding, have a look on key answers. Dear students, open page number 49. Complete each sentence with a suitable action verb from the box. Use each verb only once. So students, you have to pick one suitable action verb from the given word box to complete each sentence. So let's start. Number one, the arrogant boy dashed past the people in the queue. The arrogant boy swaggered past the people in the queue. Number two, he dashed in the shadows watching every movement the old man made. He lurked in the shadows watching every movement the old man made. Number three, the soldiers dashed through the village looting the shops and breaking people's furniture. The soldiers rampaged through the village looting the shops and breaking people's furniture. Number four, he dashed after his wife's death as he missed her terribly. He languished after his wife's death as he missed her terribly. Number five, she boldly dashed her parents' wishes. She boldly defied her parents' wishes. Number six, the witness dashed the whole incident vividly. The witness dramatized the whole incident vividly. Number seven, the bagglers dashed the house in search of valuables. The bagglers ransacked the house in search of valuables. Number eight, despite the difficulties, he dashed with the problem. Despite the difficulties, he persevered with the problem. Dear students, I also mentioned key answer for more understanding. Have a look on key answer. Dear students, circle the correct verb to use in these sentences. So let's start. Number one, if you wish to ensure, ensure, assure that you will always have somewhere to live, you must ensure, ensure, assure your house. So students, ensure means make sure, protect. Ensure, I-N-S-U-R-E mean insurance. So first you have to circle ensure, E-N-S-U-R-E. -E. And in the second line, you have to circle ensure, I-N-S-U-R-E. -E. Number two, she bought, brought the painting that I had bought, brought to be auctioned at the charity sale. So, she bought the painting that I had brought to be auctioned at the charity sale. Number three, at the same time, they decided to immigrate, immigrate to Australia. Their friends decided to immigrate, immigrate from China to Canada. Dear students, immigrate, E-M-I-G-R-A-T-E means to move or leave one location. Immigrate means move to non-native country. So first you have to circle immigrate, E-M-I-G-R-A-T-E. And in the second you have to circle I-M-M-I-G-R-A-T-E. Okay. Number four, can you devise, devise something that will help me open this door so device d-e-v-i-s-e means plan and device is basically object so you have to underline so you have to circle device d-e-v-i-s-e -E. number five the old man paddled paddled his bicycle down the street then paddled paddled his goods at the corner paddled Dear students means P E D A D L L E D paddle of bicycle, and P E D D L E D means to sell something. So first you have to circle P E D A D L L E D, and in the second you have to circle P E D D L E D paddled. Number six, the dressmaker promised to clothe clothe the princess in the finest silk in the land. C L O T H means fabric. C L O T H E means garment. So students, you have to circle C L O 
T H E cloth. Dear students, I also mentioned key answers for more understanding. Have a look on key answers. Task to do: Do the related book pages carefully. Learn and practice of all exercises. Dear students, today's daily moral lesson is honesty is the best policy. That means always say truth and follow the right path. Dear students, I hope that you understand my today's lesson. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Take care of yourself. Stay home. Stay safe.